Good everyone, here we are again with the latest video update on a very busy day here in the Western Pacific. We are tracking not one but three storms. Uh, we have currently we have Typhoon Nasat or Pedrine uh, moving out of Luzon. We have Tropical Depression Haitang now over Vietnam. And a newly formed system is Tropical Depression 22W over the Western Pacific. Uh, it is the 27th of September 2011, 08 Zulu, 4 p.m. Philippine time or 5 p.m. Japan time. I will start first with Typhoon Nessa Torpedring. Now, um, moving out of Luzon, as I said, you can see the cloud formation here. The central dense overcast is now moving into South China Sea. Uh, the last location was around 80 kilometers west northwest of Baguio City, which, ri which is right around here, around 270 kilometers northwest of Man Manila. Maximum sustained winds have decreased to 165 kph, gusting to 195. Uh, Nasat is uh, currently a category 2 typhoon in the Sophia Simpson scale. It's moving west northwestward at 20 kph. See the uh, this is the wide view of the visible imaging. As, as you know, um, Nasat made landfall early this morning around 5 a.m. Philippine time near Casiguran Aurora around the uh, Aurora Isabella border actually, and moved west northwestward. Passing through the provinces of Carino, Neva Vizcaya, uh, Benguet, and passing just north of Baguio City uh, about a couple of hours ago, it actually accelerated uh, around to 25 kph as it moves across Luzon. You can see it, uh, it made landfall as a category 3, a major typhoon. You can see in this microwave image. This was the um, image microwave taken around uh, roughly 8 hours ago, I'd say, um, showing you the very impressive microwave eye actually well defined eye wall as it made landfall so to be honest I think we dodged a bullet here for Luzon in terms of uh, typhoon I mean cat 3 is still strong um, no doubt about it, but if conditions were favorable a little bit earlier we could have seen a super typhoon instead of a cat 3 because um, once it sorted out the drier issues it had about 24 to 36 hours ago it really rapidly intensified from a cat 1 to cat 3 in less than 12 hours and um, uh, roughly uh, when it was still over Virac uh, over near Viracotanduanes we weren't really seeing an eye wall and then just before it made landfall here in Casiguran you can see this very impressive eye wall very rapid um, deepening as well and as I said, peaked around Cat 3 Typhoon with the winds of around 195 gusting to uh, 230 to 240 kph. Uh, the strongest winds definitely were felt near uh, Isabela and here also in northern Aurora, particularly Casiguran there. Uh, thank goodness right now it is now a Category 2 weekend. Still a strong typhoon. Um, still deadly, definitely. See the convective image here, latest infrared image. Uh, the convective activity I'm showing you the um, it has actually degraded somewhat due to land interaction with the uh, Cordillera, Ma Cordillera Mountains and also Sierra Madre Mountains right over here in the eastern coast you can see it also it's also uh, enhancing that southwest monsoon all across Visayas and Luzon and um, bringing certainly light to moderate rains across parts of Palawan and also Visayas and even Mindanao and also bringing in some strong waves actually here in Manila Bay we've seen reports of videos and photos of Rojas Boulevard the road adjacent to the the Manila Bay being inundated with uh, with um, f uh, few feet of, uh, of water even the US Embassy there also underwater there so some interesting developments happening right now in Manila you might want to continue checking with your local news channels there but as for uh, as for NASA, as I said, is now moving over land. I'm uh, sorry, moving over the South China Sea. Sea convective activity still stronger, particularly in the northern and western side. Can kind of see somewhat of a clearing or a warming trend here. I'm not sure if this is the eye sort of trying to reappear again, but we'll have to see the trends later tonight. Definitely going to be interesting. And as it go as it moves over water, certainly um, begin re-intensifying again. But the, again, the good news now is it is now moving away from Luzon. But uh, the uh, threat for heavy rain, strong winds, and strong waves will will remain for at least another 12 hours. And as of 11 a.m., actually, we still have signal number three for parts of uh, northern Luzon. We still have lots of 
provinces f under signal number three and number two, including Metro Manila, also signal number one in some areas. Um, we're waiting for the 5 p.m. update from Pagasa. We'll update you when it gets out in terms of the latest signal warnings and forecasts from them. You can just check out our website for the complete list of the provinces and also the latest uh, coming up right around 5 p.m. today, Philippine time. In terms of the rain so far, we have the Tagaytay radar from Pagasa, the latest radar image, roughly taken about two hours ago, showing you this bands of heavy rain. I'm sorry, moving over central and southern reg uh, Tagalog regions, including Metro Manila, which is right over here. Rainfall rates are around uh, 30 to even 50 millimeters per hour, so definitely going to be causing widespread flooding and uh, landslides. And yes, as uh, Neset moves right over here, northwest of Manila, it will continue enhancing that southwest monsoon and also that inflow, these feeder bands into the circulation will continue bringing heavy rain for maybe at least another 24 hours, particularly here in the western coast of Luzon. And also I want to just show you here the current conditions. This is actually as of 3 p.m., so about an hour ago now. See, the strongest of winds right now is being felt here in Subic. This is based on the airport reports around Luzon. We have Subic reporting gusting of actually 100 kph, consistent gusts and sustained winds of more than tropical storm force. You can also see the rain uh, reports around 150 millimeters here in the Manila area and also Bicol region. We're also beginning to see some reports of heavy rain here as well in Baguio and Cabanatuan of around 100 to 150 millimeters. Uh, so we do expect that uh, to continue in terms of heavy rain. Probably expect another 100 millimeters or so in terms of rain today and into tonight. So don't let your guard down definitely even if it's moving away now. Now as for the four, uh, anyway, you can also see this image on our on our website uh, if you want more on this one. Now going to the forecast, um, I mentioned yesterday that the models were still diverging in terms of the long-term forecast. Now they are leaning on a more, uh, leaning on a agreement now of a track south of Hong Kong and perhaps moving into Hainan and into the uh, Leizhou province here in uh, south Western China by uh, Friday. Uh, you can see the mo most of the models now taking it south of Hong Kong. And most models are also intensifying this uh, along the way due to the you know, moving over the waters of the South China Sea. Showing you again the forecast from JMA here, uh, as of uh, 6 Zulu, also taking it towards. Hainan and could make landfall there around uh, Friday morning local time. And G, um, sorry, Pagasa here also showing a track now moving away from Hong Kong, still moving northwestward, but uh, away from Hong Kong. And you can also see that by Wednesday we're expecting this to move out completely out of the Philippine area of responsibility. GTWC again showing also the same thing, same general philosophy here with the forecast track. Also expecting this to maintain in uh, typhoon intensity and see here peaking again at around uh, 75 knots um, as it moves over the South China Sea and also as it makes landfall here around Friday morning here in uh, eastern coast of Hainan. As for the uh, as for the intensity, as I said, it is going to be moving over South China Sea. Warm waters, high ocean heat content as well. Favorable conditions, I would say, for the next uh, two days. Uh, probably going to be seeing this maintaining cat 2 intensity, actually. But, uh, however, the wind shear. There is a wind shear here, moderate wind shear and 20 knots. Um, however, the good outflow and also the warm waters in South China Sea should offset the wind shear effect for at least maybe a day or so. And then it could start seeing the seeing stronger wind shear as it approaches high none um, by uh, by later this week. Uh, but again, the general forecast right now would be a typhoon hitting either Hainan or southern China by the end of the, the end of the week. So that is the update now for uh, for Nesat. Moving on to the other storm, we have tropical depression Haitang. It has made landfall here in the coast of. Vietnam here in the central part of Vietnam uh, earlier this morning also accelerated 20 kph remember uh, we were expecting this to make landfall 
uh, Tuesday afternoon it instead made landfall Tuesday morning so yeah, it accelerated and it's now located approximately 470 kilometers south of Hanoi which is right over here we're at 170 kilometers northwest of Da Nang, uh, Vietnam right over here maximum sustained winds decreased now to 45 kph gusting to 70 um, high tide is moving westward at 20 kph now crossing into Laos you no longer see the circulation here not really evident now and convection and the overall organization has become fragmented again due to the land interaction and we do expect this to completely dissipate within the next uh, 12 to 24 hours you can see the convective activity here um, showing you some intense convection still associated with high tang uh, but again sheared to the west and southwest we have some very cold cloud capsules as well over Laos and Thailand just running the numbers here from uh, from rainfall reports we have rain from Da Nang around 60 millimeters, Dong Hoi around 110, and even Hanoi receiving actually 70 millimeters over the past 24 hours. So yeah, this storm is did bring uh, some heavy, uh, some moderate to heavy rain. We do expect uh, maybe another 50 to 100 millimeters by tonight in terms of rain. So um, still has uh, still threats for for la uh, landslides and then flooding, urban flooding as well. So something to keep in mind with the Indochina. Also, as it dissipates, the remnants will still bring rains across Laos, Myanmar, and Thailand. So for, for over the next few days, and also enhancing that monsoonal flow there as well. Uh, just a heads up, JMA and JTWC has given their final update on this storm. Likewise, this will also be our final update for tropical depression in Haitang. We'll still have, uh, um, sorry, the update the next text update will also be the final for uh, for high tongue there okay now moving on to the other system the newly formed depression we have tropical depression 22 west over the western pacific around 100 960 kilometers northwest of guam guam is right over here and uh, maximum sustained winds are around 55 gusting to 80 kilometers and 20 to w is moving west northwestward at 10 kilometers per hour you can see in this latest this image, uh, impressive circulation actually, impressive banding. You have the partially exposed uh, inflow you can see here, but outflow is excellent to the pole, poleward outflow to the north. Very excellent also here, uh, toward outflow there as well. The uh, western half somewhat, somewhat empty I would say. But uh, in terms of a depression, this is a good looking storm. Uh, convective activity also... Uh, uh, somewhat good here, um, especially at, uh, over the center. You can see some uh, some cold cloud tops there as well, and um, probably going to be seeing another hefty uh, amount of convection as the diurnal maximum kicks in. As for the uh, forecast here with the storm, this is uh, roughly around 300 kilometers away from the Philippine area of responsibility, so we not s we don't see it entering the PAR yet the next uh, maybe day or s uh, 12, uh, sorry, 12, 24 to 36 hours. But in terms of the forecast, the as you can see in this mean wind analysis of the upper air environment, you can see the following these arrows right over here, the consensus would, I would say, move towards the west. Um, computer models not really picking up on this storm. Only the euro is supporting uh, development here showing it tracking westward I uh, still have a lot of days to go before this one enters uh, or even affects the Philippines for that matter so just keep checking us here for the latest updates on uh, these storms and that is the update for uh, today if, if you have reports f pictures photos our uh, videos and written reports just send us here at philippineweather at yahoo.com we'll uh, make sure we include that in our uh, reports our blog and site. So until our next uh, update, again, just keep checking us and also Pagasa for the official weather warnings and advisories for your area. Until our next update, uh, stay safe. Bye-bye. Uh,